Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready for the email section? Come on, Lou. Hi, Susie. Hi, Lou. What's on your mind these days? Not much. What do you, uh, what do, you do for the holidays? Where do you go? Well, usually I go to Florida, where mm. I'm a resident of Florida, and everybody comes and we all stay. I have a little two-bedroom condo there, and Barbara and Travis, who I've been talking about all night, yeah, and really. Don, we all come, we all stay mm. there, like six of us stay there, and we make, you know, a menorah, we make a Christmas tree, we don't spend any money, and we have a great time, and the kids on the morning of Christmas have to go around and serve people food and bring <laughs> gifts really? for others that don't have it. Wow. Yeah. A lot of times they gather up all their toys from the years past, because we haven't bought toys for years, right. but the little things that they kept to see who they're going to give them away to. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is completely the opposite of my What do Christmas. you do? I have 30 people at my house. There are presents stacked up so high the small kids can't see over them. <laughs> and then there's just tons of eating all day. Mm, I see. <laughs> all right. But... My suggestion was. Yeah, no, I know. I might I'm, want to call them all and say, no gifts see what this happens. year. We, I, Sorry, the... retailers. I know you're so mad at Susie Orman. How's the economy ever going to recover? As Susie Orman keeps saying, don't spend money. Not our problem. You figure that out. My problem is making sure, personally, every single one of you is okay. Read me that email. I already had the discussion with them. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. You're looking good these days, Liz. Well, thanks. Yeah. I don't know, that came out of nowhere, but thank you. All right, no problem. <clears throat> From Anita, 62, <laughs> in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Susie, I want to purchase tax-free municipal bonds. I am retired and can't take chances with my savings. I am in the 29% tax bracket. I have stocks, bonds with mutual funds, etc. My broker wants to charge me 1.5 to 2% to purchase munis for me. I have $60,000, and he will get $1,500 to $2,000. I was wondering if I could purchase municipal bonds on my own, and if I can, where? Well, it's, you know, it's difficult. Here's the thing. I want you to use, you're going to die when you hear me say this one. I want you to use a financial advisor to purchase municipal bonds because municipal bonds, any bond really except a treasury, can be quite tricky. You want to know that the underlying quality of that bond is absolutely safe and sound. I personally would not be buying a municipal bond that wasn't a general obligation bond. A lot of you want to buy bonds that are AAA rated, MBIA insurance, but you know what? I'm not so sure how good the rating services are anymore. They got us into trouble in the past. The insurance, is it really worth the quarter of a percent in interest rate to have insurance? I don't think so. But if you have a very astute broker who knows the underlying quality of a general obligation bond, that should be good enough. However, I'm afraid that your particular broker may be making you broker. One and a half to two percent to buy municipal bonds, usually the price of a municipal bond includes the commission. It already is priced in there. Is he charging you on top of that? So here's what I would do if I were you. I would say, give me a list of all the municipal bonds you want me to buy. Then I would call other brokerage firms, and I got news for you. Those, are, those bonds, some of them, will be at other firms as well. And I would ask them, do you have this particular bond? The broker will come back and say yes or no. If it's yes, the question then is, how much will it cost me? What is the yield? If the yield that they're offering you is higher and the price is lower, I'm here to tell you that your financial advisor is charging you not only one and a half or two percent above that, but probably priced in an additional commission within the pricing of the bond. Now, I know that sounds confusing, but you have got to do that. One and a half to two percent, I don't think so. The most, the absolute most built into the price of the bond should be like one percent. But even that is a lot of money. Did you make, hmm. did that make sense to you? Absolutely. All right, so, you know, when these times are hard, I have to say, Financial advisors, I'm not saying her financial advisor is doing this, but financial advisors may be finding a way to charge you more because they have to pay their mortgage, sure. they have to give gifts, they have to pay their lease, they have to do all these things. Please be careful, people. Understand how something works and what you're paying before you do it. Okay. All righty. Shall we go home? Sure. Thanks of... for the compliment earlier, but it's got to be the makeup because I, I nothing... I'm not doing anything. Oh, okay. We're looking good. <laughs> I Liz. think it's all Laura. Laura, Laura our makeup artist. Yes. We love absolutely. our Laura and Patty, who does our hair. Absolutely. All right. All right. Okay, everybody. Well, long night, y'all. Yeah? 
It's a long night because a lot of you are in financial situations that really you don't want to be in. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to tell your mother. You don't know what to tell your wife. You don't know what to do. Well, we're getting you there little by little. But I can tell you, if you do one thing, and what I'm about to tell you to do, if you do this one thing always when it comes to money, I think you'll be far happier. And what is it? It's this. Whatever you do, remember, people first, then money, then things. And until next Saturday night, now you stay. Challenge. Win one week and secure your place in the finals for first prize. Practice your strategy with our money before investing yours. Register today at CNBC.com.